Well, good morning, folks. It is officially opening day of North Dakota bow season. It's cooled down a little. The wind's actually completely switched from yesterday. We got a north northeast wind right now, and it's it's gonna move around the northern part of that until it is west northwest this evening, which I kind of like. The past probably three to four days have been south. It's been a little warmer. So I feel like this wind switch up could kind of change things up a bit, could shift their mood and shift the momentum in our favor. Hung a stand yesterday in one of our favorite trees to hunt up here. And uh, with, with a perfect wind this evening, that's where we'll be. So there's a few bucks back there that are on the old hit list. And all we'd need is one of them tonight to take a little walk, but nonetheless, Super pumped up, it is opening day, can't believe it. RT at 44 yards, hitting the tennis ball. Should be good to go. There's nothing more that I enjoy. I'm taking the old signature series. Tag and Brag Signature Series broadheads out of a fresh pack and screwing them on. Opening day is here. We're doing it for real tonight. Just gonna make sure all the units are greased up and oil's changed. It's been a minute. I gotta remember how to use these, I gotta get the manual back out. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel ready to roll. You look great. Good, feel good, play good. Tonight anything could happen. Literally, anything could happen. I'm just uh, just happy to be here. Day one of the 2018 season is officially upon us. We got the bow in hand. I drew the lucky straw to have the bow in hand first, and you never know. Could get a crack at one first day that would be out of control, but nonetheless, we're gonna go get in a tree and savor every single second of, of this right here, North Dakota 2018. It's on, baby. Well, folks, it's game time. The bell has rung, and the clock is officially ticking. We're in the stand. 
the more seasons that we go through, it's like the faster they come around, the faster they go. So for this moment right here, because we know we're going to blink, it's going to be winter time, and we're going to be closing out the season here, let alone closing out this week. <clears throat> so for us, literally just soaking up every single second out here. This is this is about as good as it gets. I literally, I've got goosebumps right now because I'm not really sure if there's another tree in America that I'd rather be in right now. It's August 31st. It's freaking August. And we are in a tree. Opening day of North Dakota season. We're overlooking hundreds of acres of beans. As long as it cools down, once the sun goes down, we should be in the money.
Ê. He's down, dude. He's down. <laughs> David, congratulations, man. Oh my god, man. He's freaking down. Dude, David, beautiful. Beautiful buck. Beautiful buck. Oh my god, man. I cannot believe we just got it done. Holy smokes. Dude, we just killed a stud, That's man. That's a stud buck, man. That's a great buck. I can't, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't even know this is real, dude. Oh my. That is a freaking beautiful dude, buck in full velvet. Beautiful footage. And I just smoked a freaking gorgeous velvet 10 point. Oh my gosh, it's opening day. You still got five minutes to spare. I just killed the biggest, I, that's the biggest deer of my life. That's the biggest deer of my dude, life. Dude, that's a, that's a, I mean, that's a beautiful buck. That's the biggest deer of my life. That's a beautiful buck. He's right like 18 inches, looks like 17 inches at the ears. Man, when I just... saw him coming across the beans, I'm like, dude, that is a good one. He's that a is a freaking deer. good one. I, I mean, I was analyzing him, analyzing him, no, coming in. That I deer's four and a half years old. Yeah, dude, that's a nice buck. Oh, my gosh. Look at the <laughs> knock going in the freaking... Hey, we're about to go recover, man. It's opening day. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say, but we're going to, we're going to recover. Damn, that's an awesome buck. That is crazy. What a beautiful deer. Man, he's heavy. Look at the stickers and stuff on his bases, man. That is a great buck. I can't believe it, man. Old velvet. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I don't even know what I'm doing. This is crazy. This is a dream. This is a literal dream come true for me. Like literally a dream come true. I mean, we've been coming out here for six years. We've taken some really good deer. And one of the reasons we come out here early season is to have a chance at a deer in full velvet. And that buck is just awesome. He is just awesome. Dude, that is a sweet buck. What a hunt, what everything. Everything on opening day. I mean, I'm really I'm at a loss for words. Thank you for the sacrifice, big fella. When I say this hunt was a dream come true, it's really hard for me to describe it any other way. As a kid and growing up watching all these hunting shows with these guys in prestigious whitetail places, we always wondered what it would feel like to be those guys. Now, creating our own lifestyle around our passion for hunting. Having the opportunities to travel the country and hunt and literally envisioning this dream has come full circle. The cool part is, this is a do-it-yourself hunt. There's no outfitters telling us where to go or where the deer are. There's no passing 150 inch deer to try and get a bigger one. And there's certainly no guarantees of a happy ending. So to be in a tree in the middle of North Dakota on opening day of bow season with my brother Hunting these whitetails that we put ourselves in front of is a dream come true in itself. But to have success like this, knowing that we put in all the work to get here, that's a feeling I have trouble describing, and it's an opportunity that I will forever be grateful for.